Hello to all of my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss how to create funnel chart in Power BI. So for this, we will go in the canvas of the Power BI. To create any new chart in Power BI, make sure that you click on the white portion of the canvas. Activate the funnel chart. Pick up the category and drop it into the category. Pick up the sales and drop it into the values. Your funnel chart is ready. Activate the focus mode. So the sales of the technology, it is considered to be the benchmark that is 100%. The sales of the furniture with the previous uh, technology sales is 88.74% because technology is considered to be the benchmark. Office supplies, 96.91. Now we will include one more categorical variable here. Let's say segment. So as soon as I include uh, two categorical variables here, drill up and down gets activated. So I can change this, see. So this is category, segment, category and segment. Still I can include one more, uh, let's say region, one, two, and this is according to the region. So the sales of the west is highest, the second is east, then central and then south and it also gives the percentage so the comparison of uh, south with respect to west the drop is uh, or rather we can say it is 54 percent and to the previous it is 73.84 percentage percentage of previous now we will remove all three of them and include the subcategory. It, it gives you a big funnel chart. So sales of the phone is 100%, then chairs, then storage, tables. So percentage of the first and the percentage of the previous, both you are getting. Now you activate, format your visuals, Go in colors, the colors can be changed from here. The required data levels, yes. Inside center, outside N. What is to be displayed? Data value, percentage of previous or percentage of first, percentage of first with respect to first, okay date value and percentage of first that is also possible and date value keep it inside center values the color of this uh, values can be changed as well as the size can be changed display unit is in thousands we can convert it into millions and billions I request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this tutorials. Do you want to include any background? Yes, activated it. And see the background of these values. Switch it off if you don't require the background. Category labels. So I can increase or decrease the categorical label uh, font size. The color can be changed. Do you want to activate the conversion rate? So, see this. It displays that the first category is 100%. So its value is displayed. If you don't want it, switch it on. Now activate the general setting, properties. Click on back to report. By increasing this number, the chart size will increase. By increasing the width, the chart, uh, the chart size will increase horizontally, position. By increasing this number, the chart will shift on right hand side. By decreasing it, it will move on left hand side. By increasing it, this number, it will move towards bottom, up, padding. So this will increase the white space in your chart. So 
if I increase this number, see. So the white space increases from the top. Here, yeah, it increases from bottom. Here, yeah, the chart will move on right hand side. Here, yeah, the chart will move on left hand side. Title. So it is sum of sales. We don't want sum, let's say only sales by subcategory. We can change the color of this title. Do you require any background? Yes, we will take the background. And this time we will take the background, light background. Horizontal adjustments done. Subtitle, if we require subtitle, then activate it. Otherwise, no. Divider on it. Black color divider, solid line. You can increase or decrease this line width. Spacing. So this will increase the white space between the title and the chart. Effects. Let's select the gray background and keep it light. Visual borders on it. Which color border we require? We require black color border with the rounded edges. See, at present we are having square. Click on it. Square edges. Click on it, go in general, go in effects, visual border, rounded corners, and now your borders will become round. Again, click here, general, effects, header icons. So this will change the color of filters, focus more, see the changes which happen, blue color. Black color, so we don't want this type of icons, and we will press reset to default. And then, yeah, make sure that in icons, all of them are on. So, this is your uh, funnel chart. Now, activate the focus mode. So this was all about creating the funnel chart in Power BI. For more such videos on Power BI, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can. Also refer my playlist in which I have uploaded many videos on Power BI. Please don't forget to share and like this video. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter, link given in the description box.